Hello there. So if you're familiar with these blue boxes, you're going to recognize them immediately as being the grid tie inverters with limiter. So the 600 watt and the 1000 watt versions of this, they are 120 volts. And in order to cover a regular US house, which is a split phase, you would have to buy two of them, uh, have each one on its own phase with its own CT clamp to monitor the output on that leg. One of the downsides is that the power they generate can't be used on the other leg. Now the 2000 watt version, however, is 240 volt, so it can power both legs at the same time. You just need to know how to wire them up. And it's actually quite simple. What you do is that you connect them to a double pole breaker. The L and the N go into the breaker itself, and then the ground goes to your ground bar. Now you may be asking yourself, well, how am I going to limit both legs at the same time because the GTIL comes with just one CT clamp? There are two CT clamps. One is round L1, one's round L2, and then they're in series. And then the wire runs back out and up and ends up back at the GTIL. As you can see, it's holding it very nicely where it needs to be. It's a, it's a, about 10, 20 watts underneath the limit. The next problem is that, well, if you want more than one of these GTILs, you also want them to monitor the same thing without having a whole mass of CT clamps in your breaker panel, um, obviously because there's not enough space and, well, it's unnecessary. So the way I've solved that problem is after the CT clamp comes out, the series CT clamps, it comes back up and they're wired in parallel. Now it's not a very pretty setup with the way it goes, but what it does mean is that I can add extra devices, extra GTILs anytime I want. I just add them into this little block here where they're wired in parallel. And if we go down to the other GTIL over here, you'll see it's also exactly right in terms of limiting. So to recap, L1, N and L2. L1 and L2 on this terminal type go to the breaker. If you have one of the older kettle ones like I have here, you just wire L and N to the double pole breaker and then the ground goes to the ground. And that's it. So one last recap, double pole breaker to the number of breakers that you've got for a GTIL to the actual devices themselves. If you need to limit them, hook them up in parallel. Then when they go back inside your panel, they go to a series set of CT clamps, one on L1 and one on L2. And that's it. Okay, that about wraps it up. If you have any questions, please do ask in the comments. Uh, if you like the video, please hit like. If you want to subscribe for more of this kind of stuff, then hit subscribe. And I appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot.